Hi guys, we have discussed already about the CAM test. So, we need to know what is actually hemolysis and how does hemolysis happen when some bacteria are inoculated in some blood agar media, etc. So, in this video, we are dealing with the hemolysis and blood agar. What is hemolysis and what is blood agar? So, introductory part. Blood agar is a solid growth medium that contains RBC and many other components like uh, blood agar doesn't contain only RBC is not a good fact. Like blood agar contains many components and it also contains 5% sheep blood. So, sheep blood RBCs are very fragile and they can be bursted out by a simple hemolysis. And here human and horse RBCs are not used. That was a previous question, I think. This medium is used to detect bacteria that have the ability to produce enzyme or extracellular toxin called as hemolysin, which break apart RBCs. This process is termed as hemolysis, or lysis of RBC, blood cell. The degree to which blood cells are hemolyzed that is the extent to which the hemolysin breaks the blood cells is used to distinguish bacteria from one another. That is, how much a bacteria, bacterial toxin can break the RBC is the factor used to distinguish the bacteria. So, they will be producing many patterns of hemolysis. The main three patterns are alpha hemolysis, beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis. Gamma hemolysis is somewhat contradictory, but still we have to learn like gamma hemolysis. So, we are moving to, this is the blood dagger showing three types of hemolysis. See, the beta hemolysis is a complete hemolysis zone. This was the inoculating straightening pattern. See, complete hemolysis has occurred here because the beta hemolysis toxin from the bacteria was very powerful and it completely destroyed the RBCs present in the streaking pattern. Now, see what happens in the alpha hemolysis. It is not as much prominent as beta. Somewhat hemolysis has occurred but not up to the mark. So, in gamma lysis, this is the streaking pattern. No hemolysis has occurred here. But around 0.5% hemolysis has occurred here. So, we are moving to the first hemolysis that is a beta hemolysis. It is the complete or true lysis of RBC. That is, RBC is completely broken down here. So, a clear zone. That is a clear zone. This is the clear zone. Approaching the color and transparency of the base medium surrounds the colony. See the transparency of the base medium. Example Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes. Complete hemolysis with transparency. See the example Staphylococcus aureus producing hemolysis. Hemolysis zone. This is complete transparent zone. This is the hemolysis product. Now we move to the alpha hemolysis. Here, Actually, we cannot use the term partial hemolysis, but here only reduction of RBC hemoglobin to methemoglobin occurs. That is, RBC hemoglobin is converted to methemoglobin in the presence of alpha hemolytic toxin of the bacteria. This causes a greenish brown discoloration of the medium. The color can be equated with the bruising of the cells. Actually, the color is produced due to the methemoglobin produced and the bruising of the methemoglobin. So, this is actually not partial hemolysis or incomplete hemolysis. Partial hemolysis, but often we use the word partial hemolysis. Also, this is an irony. Here, the transparency is not present and the example of bacteria showing alpha hemolysis or the example of bacteria having alpha hemolytic extracellular toxins are Streptococcus pneumonia and streptococcus mutants. So, this is a streptococcus pneumonia bacteria, rodship bacteria. See, the colonies are not much clear, but the bruising of cells producing a color. So, we move to the gamma lysis, the contradictory one. 
gamma indicates actually lack of lysis that is hack of lack of hemolysis that is not hemolysis happening here but still we consider it as a hemolysis means there is the this is very 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 short occurrence of hemolysis that means rbcs are not breaking actually actually there should not be any reaction in the surrounding medium so it is converted to uh, terms like gamma hemolysis gamma streptococcus are usually non hemolytic but after 24 hours of incubation they produce slight alpha hemolysis that is actually due to the attenuation of the medium and actually due to the enhancement of the toxicity of the alpha toxin or the gamma toxin gamma hemolysis so enterococcus fecalis is an example see this is simply the streaking area there has been no rbc breakage Facts are Staphylococcus aureus produce four types of hemolysin toxin. They are alpha, beta, gamma, delta. But the beta hemolysin here produce partial hemolysis. Actually, we know we uh, learned that beta hemolysin will be producing complete or transparent zone. But this is an irony that is the Staphylococcus aureus beta hemolysin extracellular toxin use only partial hemolysis or hot cold hemolysis the produce synergistic hemolysis when stringed together with streptococcus sorry for the spelling agalactia in camp that is actually due to the enhancement of the rbc lysis due to the camp factor produced by the group b beta streptococci streptococcus agalacti thank you so uh, if at all you need more about uh, more information about the camp test you can see my video i'll put the link in the description box thank you guys